We've been working on this troopy for the last week. It's uh, it's almost finished. It's still it's still missing some finishing touches, so it will go back to PCS. But our main work is done. All the electrics, except for last little bits and pieces, are in, and uh, it turned out really nice. It's one of the pop top troopies where you can actually access the tent from the inside. We've added a whole lot of stuff to it. As you can see, we've got a solar panel on the roof where it's only just a small solar panel to keep the fridge ticking over, but you can plug an external solar panel in as well. So when you're at camp, you plug in a solar blanket. You've got an extra light bar up there, aerial for your two-way. You've also got external lights all the way around, one on top of each door and then one in the back as well. You can control them from the front and the center console. So when you're driving around, at night trying to find camp or you do four-wheel driving at night you can actually get 360 degree light all around your car and each one of them is controlled individually just in case you are at camp and you only want to have light on one side you just turn one of these lights and you don't have to annoy other people uh, these were already on the car we haven't done a whole lot of stuff under the bonnet all we do is just put one fuse in the front to the main battery and from here we run all the other stuff the only things that we've added is just power for the light bar and we use the accessory fuse box that's in here from toyota that's the best spot to go to if you want to install accessories to the vehicle as you can see there's another light here as well that's one of the outside lights i've been talking about we use hella rock 155 lights with a super wide flat on it, you get almost 140 degrees spread on these lights. So once you turn that on, this whole side will be lit up and you can also quite easily adjust them up and down. Plus they're really rugged. You really have to hit something solid to break this light. Uh, we've also exchanged the start battery to a Century Dual Force battery. This is a battery that has got we call it a hybrid battery it's got agm technology in it but it is a start battery so that technology is derived from idle start stop cars and even though you've taken a lot of power out of it it's still got enough grunt to crank the engine over uh, here in the cab what we always do is this is a brilliant spot to add some usb charging points so on either on both sides We've got these little surface mounts and a twin USB output there for charging. So if you have your phone here, you can just plug it in there. These are powered from a lithium battery system through our Egan DC hub. They are installed in the back of the car. There's also a center console, which has got the switches for the lights. It's also got a switch for a 10 liter, 12 volt and 230 volt water heater that's installed there. And that water heater is connected to our Egan water hub system. So you can have hot showers. You've got a drink water outlet. There's also a 90 liter water tank in here. And I really like these lights. They are the National Luna lights. And you can have three different dimming stages of these lights in orange. Or if you hold them for a little bit longer, they flip over to white. And you can actually get some decent white light and bright light out of them. Uh, but generally around camp you just put them on this setting you get enough light to actually see if you're tripping into the hole and so that you know where you're going another good thing about these is you've got the exact same light temperature as your bonfire so if you got a bonfire over there about 10 15 meters away this light will sort of just melt into the light of the bonfire it looks really cool inside here we have got the water heater that i just talked about in there we have got the Red Arc Manager for charging right in there. We've got the Red Arc 2000 watt inverter down there that is uh, connected to our to two 100 amp hour Amtron batteries right here. Then this compartment here is also being used for the shunt that works together with the manager. There's some uh, extra fuses and pre-fuses for the Egan DC hub, which is mounted right here. There's also a main system isolator here, which you can use to turn your whole house battery system off. And the good thing is all of this here, the only connection this has got to the vehicle itself 
is to the start battery. Just one cable to the start battery going as an input into the Egan DC hub and that's all that we need for interfering with your vehicle. The rest of this is running completely independent from the vehicle. Uh, but a roof conversion, so the roof of this Troopy has been cut out and a tent has been put on top. You can actually access this tent from the inside. You can push these up. So yeah, this all pushes up. This is your bed. It can come back down. So now you can actually stand in this vehicle, which makes it so versatile when you're actually off grid and you have to be inside for some time. This is probably, if not the best, one of the best two people setups. If you're traveling a lot and you do some serious overlanding and you want quick setup times, I actually don't know a better setup than this. Uh, what else have we got? We've also added a Scirocco fan there. Uh, there's another power outlet for a Scirocco fan in the tent. So if it gets hot in summer, you can actually have a fan in the tent as well. There's a travel buddy there uh, for cooking. You can access that through the window once you got the awning out, which is on that side of the vehicle. Uh, you've got your solar input there, your travel buddy plug and point. Uh, the big water tank is right underneath there, actually food grade stainless steel. So you can drink the water that comes out of there. And your Egan water hub system makes sure that if you want to use it for showering, you can. You just turn the tank pump on and you use tank water. And that will be pumped to the kitchen outlet. And it will also be pumped to the shower outlet, which you can plug in here. And you got a shower awning later on once that is fitted. Uh, that way you will always use tank water. It will also pump through the 10 liter hot water system and you can adjust the temperature on the automatic mixing valve down there. But the good part about this system is if you want to have a shower but you don't want to use your drink water, you can plug an external pickup in here. You use a different pump, you turn the other pump on and check valves actually make sure in here that you do not cross contaminate your drink water supply and you can shower with the bucket water. While you've got that pump on, you cannot get any water out of your tap, out of your drink water outlet. You will have to turn the pump for the external pickup off again and you have to turn your tank pump on. That's the tricky part about this system. It makes sure that you can use multiple water sources. You can connect hot water, but it also makes sure that you do not contaminate your drink water supply. Uh, some more stuff is in the back there. We've also got an ARB twin piston compressor right in the back there, which you can control from the front here as well. Right there. And the water heater is switchable from there. I'll show you some more stuff in the back. Uh, we managed to get the manager's display in here. This has got Bluetooth connectivity as well. So you can see on your smartphone in the front while you're driving what is happening. And when you're camping, this is usually the area where you are doing everything. This, for example, is the kitchen drawer, which is quite a nice long drawer where you can store all the kit that you need. And you can see what's happening with the electric system here. Everything, the solar charging, the battery status, all the stuff is available here. You've also got an Anderson outlet right here which goes directly to the batteries and you can plug in a charger and leave the charger in here hook it up to 240 volt and even though everything isolates this is the one bit that stays connected to the battery so you can isolate the system but you can still hook up a maintenance charger in case you store the vehicle for a longer period of time you also got two twin usb outlets right here and you've got two cigarette lighter or accessory sockets here. So while you're camped, you can use this as a charging station. Once there's a lid on here, you can sit on it, but you can also put your phone on here. We've got another light right here. It's another one of the National Luna lights that you can also have going in orange, which will illuminate this whole area here. And then on this side, this is what we call the kitchen box. 
So inside the kitchen box, you've got another one of these National Lunar Lights. When you're camped up, you can set all of these to orange and you've got nice campfire mode illumination all the way around your car. It's very non-intrusive. You keep your night vision. You've got another power outlet here because this side usually has a 270 degree awning on that's going to be fitted by PCS next week. So if you want some extra light in here or you want to charge something, you've got another accessory socket in there. This is also really cool. This is called a Max Trax table. Quick Pitch makes these and it works really well. You got your kitchen stuff in here, you got a table, but at the same time when you're traveling, you've got your Max Trax in here. Very versatile piece of gear. There's the other outside light. One on the back there as well. This is gonna be a very, very cool camping setup. I'm a bit jealous, I'd like to get away with it. Obviously, we've also got a light on top of the driver's door. That is also controlled separately by a switch there. And we've got the two-way aerial here, which you can fold down when you are somewhere where height actually matters. The handpiece is connected over there. Cool. Thanks for watching how we actually build cars. I hope we give you a little bit more detail on this a bit later and I'll see you around for the next one. Thank you.